all right guys what's up um I need you guys to do one thing before you enjoy this video or even after you enjoy this video make sure when you come in you hit the like button first thing you do when you come in hit the like button we're having an issue with that you know that's what happens on all the other channels but this crowd whatever for whatever reason we have an issue with that second of all subscribe to living room gangster TV that's my other YouTube channel one of my other YouTube channels I've been getting a lot of requests for live streams um, and since we got a lot of new people over here who've never had a chance to partake of my live streams Because they won't let me go live on this channel. I'm unable to go live on this channel No reason nothing. They just during the live stream. They just said whoop Try to go live with nope. I've contacted them. They've given me no indication as to why It just uh, generic email generic response email so I can't live stream on this channel. That's why I do premieres on this channel. Cause this this is my main channel. But I can do live streams on Living Room Gangster TV. So make sure you subscribe to Living Room Gangster TV. That's my other channel. The link is in the description box. I'll even put a link in a pinned comment in the chat. Just so in case you don't know what the fuck the description box is. Okay? <laughs> so. Definitely do that. And continue to take the $5 challenge. Support this channel via PayPal, Cash App, Google Pay, or the Super Chat. However you decide to. But continue to support this channel. All you guys, some of you guys have donated some nice amounts. Salute to y'all, man. And salute to y'all that can continue to do it. And salute to all the people who've been here since day one. Or people who've been here for a year. Or people who've been here for two years. Salute to all you guys. Thank you for all you guys' support. Now, you all know this guy. <laughs> this is Chris Cooper. He's the victim from Central Park. The white lady called the police on him. <laughs> the white lady done called the police on him for no reason at all. We gonna get into all that. We gonna get into all that. A lot of y'all gonna say I'm cooning by the end of this video. Because it's a lot more deeper than what you heard. You heard that, oh, He was just bird watching. And a white lady said, a black man is out here. I'm calling the police because this black man is out here. <laughs> and he's just asking me some questions and I'm scared for my life. I'm just sitting there in the park. <laughs> we won't get into all that. But first... <laughs> Let's get into what your man is up to now. He on some, he on some bullshit, man. So let's let's get into that. He's taking a serious look at racial strife. It grew out of a notorious confrontation at Central Park, and it's become the subject of a graphic novel. It was May 25th when this happened. Wait, take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. Take your phone off. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them every African-American man threatened in my life. Chris Cooper was in the Ramble, a popular site for bird watching in Central Park. Amy Cooper, no relation, had her dog off the leash in the area, which is prohibited. This was her response when he pointed that out. I'm being threatened by a man in the Ramble. Please send the cops immediately. 
The incident recorded by Mr. Cooper resonated deeply as this deliberate act of racial bias went viral. But Mr. Cooper used the event and his other passion as a comic book writer to create a new graphic novel. It's a bird. The 10-page story centers on Jules, a teenage birder who is black. Well, the, the conceit is, is that he gets a pair of binoculars uh, inherited um, from his grandfather, who was a, a civil rights activist and Korean War vet, and he thinks they're crappy old pair of binoculars and doesn't want to deal with it. And, but when he starts looking through them, he sees not only the birds, but he starts seeing these African Americans who have been unjustly killed at the hands of police. The story highlights. <laughs> Something wrong with you diggers. Something is seriously something wrong with you. Something is wrong with you niggas. Okay? Seeing these African Americans who have been unjustly killed at the hands of police. The story highlights real life incidents. Here, the shooting of Amadou Diallo. He adds, however, he wants the story to transcend specific moments getting to the heart of the matter, you know, what's going on here, which is the systemic bias that, that pervades all these incidents. He says the aim is to weave together experiences that he and other African Americans have had into a more powerful statement of humanity. We shouldn't and I think that's very important. I think that's what has the potential to save us as a society at this moment when we're so divided. He understands comic books have long reflected aspects of American culture and hopes It's a Bird will have that superpower as well. Comic books combine both the pictures, the images, and words. So you get the power of both in one place. The comic book also includes George Floyd, who was killed while being taken into custody by Minneapolis police on the very same day as the Cooper's Central Park incident. The book is free, and it's online only, and you can find a link at cbsnewyork.com. i got to tell you, every time I see that video, it just sends yeah, a chill. Yeah, but the idea of taking it and turning it to this, I really admire that, the way he's come about this. And really reaching a, a, a different audience, too. You right. know, the comic book audience, it's so vast, and it's wide, and it's young, various ages. And Right, and it's his passion too. Yeah. Always has been. Definitely. Well, I know a lot of that. Um, a lot of writers in the comic book industry and illustrators. When this happened originally, they came back, you know, and they talked about this and how they knew Chris and their images of him and the, you know his just his professionalism. You know, the utmost respect for this man. Yeah. And then this happens. Right. Okay, and a lot of y'all are wondering how this thing went so viral so fast. Well. Chris Chris Cooper his sister is also somebody okay she's some kind of um she's a sci-fi horror writer and a director at NBC Universal's S Special Victims Unit I love that show damn that that's crazy that's one of my favorite shows Special Victims Unit and she works for the CW. And she done some work for HBO. So his sister is somebody. Okay? Everybody knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. And she is the one who made this go viral. She was the first one to tweet, tweet, tweet this. She made this go viral. This um, video of him in Central Park with the white lady. <laughs> so, she says, Oh, when Karens take a walk with their dogs off leash in the famous Ramble, she meant to say Ramble, in New York's Central Park, where it is clearly posted on signs that dogs must be leashed at all times, and someone like my brother, an avid birder, politely asked her to put her dog on the leash. So she's the one who tweeted this to her, 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 her flock, her uppity, you know, flock and whatnot. And that's how it ended up going viral. So it wasn't like an organic thing. She, she it was pushed because she's, you know, she's somebody in the uh, media 
in, in, in you know in television and Hollywood and media field. And so was he. But you know, whatever. And one thing I think is very important for people to realize, because you know, context is what matters, and it's very important. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, make sure you take the five dollar challenge. It's very important. Understand how big Central Park is. Because a lot of people hear park and they think of the white lady and the black guy had an encounter in a park and she automatically thought that the black man was going to kill her and yada yada yada. Well, this ain't no park like you think. This park is the size of 843 football fields. Okay? 843 football fields. That's how big this park is. All right? It's huge. Okay? It got a lake, a huge lake in it, and it's still like, it's got... That's why people love it, because in the middle of New York City, in the middle of Manhattan, the, the just the most one of the most densest places in the world, definitely the most dense place in America, where people just live in the, 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 the highest amount of people living in the smallest area. You have this park where you can go in, and it's like you're in the fucking forest and shit. It's literally a forest. Now you have some baseball fields, you have some, you know, buildings in there, you know, you have some, you have a lot of trails, tons of trails, and, you know, and as you know, as you heard about with the Central Park Five, there's a lot of, you know, crime goes on in there, women get raped, I'm not saying, you, we now argue over the Central Park Five raped that lady, we know she got raped, and other, a lot of other women jogging have been raped. It's a lot of, there's, there's not a lot of crime, but there's crime, opportunistic crime, because these people are out here in the woods. Okay? They're in the woods. Once you go in there and you go on one of those trails, you can't even get no damn reception. You off the grid, okay? You're off the grid. When you go in one of these trails and in these back ways, you're off the fucking grid. It's you and whatever you could do to protect you. The police ain't nobody out here you scream. Okay? And that's how it is for because people want to be able to run, take hikes, go bird watching. You can't have that unless you have a lot of space. You can't go bird watching unless you create a big space because birds ain't just going to come to one little park. You need a big park. The, and the park where they're talking about, the Bramble, that place is in the Central Park. It's part of that park, but it's a, it's a, it's a section of it. It's called the Ramble. It's 38 acres. It's a fucking huge place. Okay? And the whole park is huge. But this little part of the park is huge. So when you're back there, <laughs> it's just you. And you on your own. Uh, can't nobody help you. Okay? <laughs> can't nobody help you, Jack. Okay? Whatever happened, most 99 times nothing gonna happen to you but things have happened to other people in the past and if something happens to you you know can't nobody help you ain't nobody gonna hear you scream okay so I have to set the stage for you we have to set the stage for you of what happened before the the cameras came on in this incident between him and this white lady because they're not going to set the stage for you now and I was going to leave it alone but now that he's going to make a comic book where's the some 
kids. Grandfather gave him a set of binoculars, and now he's he he he. he not only can he watch birds through the binoculars, but now he's seeing Negroes getting killed by police and white people and shit. When he oh, when he looks through the binoculars, the fuck, and knowing that you know it's gonna he he's a he's a, he's he's been in the comic book industry. He's a notable comic book guy. His sister, their families, they're all in media, and you know this is gonna get out there and push. There needs to be some push back. Okay. There needs to be some push back. Okay? Where he was and that white woman was, they probably were the only person for a mile. They could have been the only person um, around for, you know, a mile. Could have been nobody within a mile of them. Because the trails and the zigzag and up and down and down hills and ravines and crowleys and lakes and shit and all that shit. Like, this is a forest in the middle of New York City. This is not the park. The dog park. Where the street right there is a street light right there. There's cars going by. You can see somebody's a fucking Starbucks across the street. <laughs> These motherfuckers is in the jungle. Just the two of them. She's got her dog running off the leash. Which is against the rules. So white lady you were wrong. Karen whatever you were wrong. But God damn it. I can see how she would think like, well, shit, ain't nobody out here. I'm the only motherfucker out here. I came out here to let my dog run off the leash. It ain't nobody out here. She probably could have been out there for hours. Who knows? And not seen a person. That's how big that shit is. If anybody from D.C., you know Rock Creek Park, it's like that. Except it would be like if Rock Creek Park was where the fucking um, gallery place was. <laughs> instead of fucking, instead of fucking being up uptown, if, if Rock Creek Park was where gallery place was, that's how the best way to describe Central Park. The whole Rock Creek Park was where gallery place was. Just a big ass forest in the middle of the city. Okay. So these motherfuckers is out there. So the stage is set. It's all type of caves and shit. All types of crevices. And just to let you know. So she out there. She done went deep, 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 deep into the park. So she can walk her dog off the leash. Then all of a sudden, this nigga pops up. This nigga, Chris Cooper, pops up out of nowhere. And she like, well, goddamn, he's a big strapping man. Six foot, strong, muscular. You know? He pops up. She like, well, goddamn. <laughs> she probably like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, wouldn't be startled. He's, you know, she doesn't know him from a can of paint. She don't know he a com he, he's a LGBT activist. She don't know he's a big time comic book maker and shit and big in the comic book industry. She don't know none of that shit about him. She out there in the middle of the fucking jungle walking her dog and some nigga walks up. And this is the tr this is what this is what was said before. According to him, this is what we saying before. The clips they show you on the fucking news. Okay? It's very important to know that this is what they said bef was said before. And he, he verifies this. So he told her, ma'am, dogs in the ramble have to be on the leash at all times. The sign is right there. And she says... The dog's runs are closed. 
he needs his exercise. And Chris returns and says, all you have to do is take him to the other side of the drive, outside the ramble, and you can let him off the leash all you want. And she says, it's too dangerous. I wonder why. And then he goes and says, look, if you're going to do what you want, I'm going to do what I want. But you're not going to like it. Okay? So this big six foot muscular dude, she never seen a day in her life until 10 seconds ago is telling her, look, you can do what you want. But I'm going to do what I want. And you're not going to like it. About something he's, he's obviously mad at her about. He, he doesn't like what she's doing. She's explained it to him. She didn't have to. She don't know this guy. A sister would have told him to fuck off. A sister might have attacked him. A, a fucking Shaniqua might have attacked this guy. <laughs> so all the Karen shit, I get it. Karen's a fucking annoying. I get it. But a Shaniqua might have fucking threw a rock at this guy. Okay? So let's keep it a buck. With the Karen shit. So they're going back and forth. She's explaining herself to this fucking dude she don't know. In the fucking middle of the jungle. Just them two. And then this guy says. Who she never met before. Tells her look. If you're going to do what you want. I'm going to do what I want. But you're not going to like it. Well goddamn, nigga. That could mean anything. Because. News flash. I don't fucking know you. Yeah, you're not some common thug. Yeah, you're not fucking Pookie and Ray Ray. Nah, I don't know that. I just met you 10 seconds ago. And this shit is escalating. Like in 10 seconds it went from me laying eyes on you to me explaining myself to you about some shit that really ain't got nothing to do with you. And then you telling me, look, if you're going to do what you want, I'm going to do what I want. But you're not going to like it. But God damn. <laughs> and there's nobody else around for miles, probably. And if there is, they might be a quarter mile away. And it's windy trails and wood. Like, they ain't like right there. They like. <laughs> a motherfucker could be there 10 feet away, you can't see him. That's bushes and trees and all. <laughs> Creeks and shit. Brush. And then she said, after he said that shit, she was like, what's that? Like, what? He said to her dog, come here, puppy. So after he said that crazy shit to her, she said, what's that? And then he called her dog. Come here, puppy. Well, nigga, you acting strange now. Now, like, nigga, 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 you acting strange, my nigga. My nigga, you acting strange, my nigga. <laughs> okay? You, you, you concerning me, and I'm not even out there, but if I, if I, I whoa, wait a second, nigga. What the fuck? You done approached me, told me I can't do some shit, made me explain myself to you like you a fucking park ranger and shit, you smoking the fucking bear and shit. Then you told me some, like, Basically threatened me and shit. And now you calling my dog towards you? Oh, shit. This nigga crazy, man. <laughs> the fuck? Then she said, he won't come to you. And then that nigga said, we'll see about that. My nigga, what the fuck? 
So after you basically threatened her in her mind because she don't fucking know you, you called her dog. She was like, so you call. So if you called her dog and her dog come to you, now she ain't got shit. Now you can just do whatever you want to her because she don't know you. This was going to her mind. She hasn't met you. She don't know you some comic book fucking dude and you LGBT. She don't know none of that shit. She don't know you. This is probably 30 seconds into the interaction, if that. You done called her dog, and she done told you he won't come to you. And you like, we'll see about that. Like, what? My nigga, we the only two people out here. Like, I don't, like, like it's not even like we in a dark alley and like where it's like a fucking... Somebody might come out the back of one of the restaurants to throw some trash away or some shit. It's like, nigga, we in the jungle, nigga. I don't know you. What the fuck are you talking about? So then he pulled out dog treats. He said, I pull out dog treats I carry for just such instances. I didn't even get a chance to toss any treats to the pooch before Karen scrambled to grab the dog. And then she screamed, don't touch my dog. And then he says, that's when I started video recording with my iPhone. And when her inner Karen fully emerged and took a dark turn. <laughs> That's why you gotta fucking support channels like this, cause I'm a. Sh I hate it. I hate the fact that none of these niggas is. Cr none of these stories, these racism stories, is real. I hate it. I hate the fact that Brianna, George Floyd, Rayshard Brooks, Amada. I hate the fact that none of them is real. But you should also hate the fact that you never see none of this shit. You don't see none of this shit in your life and your travels. You never see anything like this. You're never somewhere some white lady starts telling some black dude, ah, you gonna kill me for no reason. You never see any of this shit. This motherfucker, this, <laughs> this motherfucker, this motherfucker done approached this woman in the fucking depths of the biggest forest in New York City. And within two seconds, he's fucking telling her she can't do some shit. And ex she's explaining herself. And she's like, she don't know who the fuck this nigga is. <laughs> then he's basically threatening her. You don't like what I do. If you don't like what I said, then you're not going to like what I'm going to do. What? What? I don't have no context. Like, she has no other context of him saying that. That would mean any other reason. And she's a woman. She can't take them chances. Women live a different life than men. Women have less. They're smaller. They have less muscle mass. Less bone density. They're weaker physically. <laughs> they got to. They got to react quick. They got to take precautions. They, there's certain things they can't do. They can't sit around and wait for the situation to escalate. Nigga you done. What? And, oh. Come here, doggy. What? He won't come to you. Yes, he will. We'll see about that. What? What? <laughs> then you start pulling out the treats and shit. And trying to get a lure her dog towards you and shit. What? what? Nigga, we ain't established no type of rapport. <laughs> the fuck is going on? And he says, that's when I started recording with my iPhone. So after she was like, don't touch my dog. Me and my dog. There 
You see how she was the cop? You could tell the cop asked her, where you at? She said she was in the Ramble, so he was like, where in the Ramble? She like, I don't know. That place they in so fucking big. You know, she don't know where the fuck she at. <laughs> it would have took the cops like an hour to come find her ass. If he had been a fucking, like, um, rapist or some shit, which he, which he wasn't, okay, nigga, Pro blacks, he wasn't. I get that. If he had, you know who would have found her body? A jogger or a bird watcher, like a week later. <laughs> and I found her, <laughs> her decaying body <laughs> in the bushes somewhere, like a week later on a humbug. <laughs> Cause they out so deep, like it ain't like somebody come through there every fucking day. It's random, like. Different people come through and whatever. Like, it could have been a month before another person came through that exact part of Central Park. You understand what I'm saying? It could have been a week before another person came through that exact part of Central Park. Could have been an hour, but it's no guarantee. It's not like fucking the streets where you know somebody will walk down that street. Like, they deep in the fucking bush. And this woman lost her job off this shit. She had like a, a six-figure job with the um, a marketing. She was some kind of like I forgot what she did, but she she was a high. She was a she was an executive, some some big time. And she lost her job because of this shit. And it, this nigga let her let this woman lose her job over that shit. That nigga ain't shit for that. He let this woman lose her job over this shit. Knowing goddamn well he was out there talking crazy. Now, if he had talked to Pookie, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Pookie and Ray Ray. Just Pookie or Ray Ray. Let's make it legit. Pookie or Ray Ray is out there. That deep in the forest, walking their dog. That nigga ain't gonna say shit. That nigga wouldn't even said shit. But let's pretend he would have said some shit to Pookie or Ray Ray. How that go? Hey Pookie, you know you can't have your dog off the leash out here, man. The fuck is you doing? <laughs> hey Pookie, you know goddamn. <laughs> Hey, Pookie, you know you can't have your dog off the leash out here. <laughs> oh. Nah, cuz, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They closed the dog park, man. Because of COVID, man. <laughs> I gotta give my dog some exercise somewhere, my nigga. <laughs> well, all you gotta do is take him to the other side of the park. A couple miles away, walk down the park, down the other end of the park, and you can fucking walk your dog. Okay, Pookie? Man, I ain't going over there, man. It's too dangerous, man. Well, since you're going to do what you want to do, Pookie, I'm going to do what I want to do. And you ain't going to like what I'm going to do. Pop, 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 bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Boy, you would have shot that nigga. Boy, you would have shot that nigga. Or oh, sick dog on him and it probably would have been a pit bull. It'd have most likely been a fucking pit bull. Boogie would have sick that dog on that nigga. 
I mean, I know it sounds like I'm cooning and shit. You always taking the white person's side. Well, actually, I just take the fact side if you think about it, man. Do a lot of different stories, man. It's like, just like, God damn. And I thought this one was real. I ain't even lie. I said, when I heard it, I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? And then I broke it down. I was like, wait a second. Let me do some research on this. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you take the $5 challenge. Let me do some research on this one, man. You know. And I'm like, wait a second. The fuck? <laughs> so get in the comment section, man. Tell me what you guys think. And make sure you subscribe to Living Room Gangster TV. I'm going to be doing some live streams in the near future. And if you haven't been to my live streams, you're missing out. You can interact with me directly. You can ask me questions. Questions that y'all may ask me in the comment section. Where I don't get a chance to respond because there's so many comments. I try to read as many as I can, but there's so many. And... You know, I'm constantly, you know, making videos and whatnot and trying to produce content. Plus, I got other things going on in my personal life. On the live streams, you can ask me the question. And I can interact you in real time and, t and tell you, you know, or I can ask you some questions, whatever. Either way. So, make sure you subscribe to Living Room Gangster TV. The link is in the description box. So you can... And hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I go live. Peace.